to another video and today I will show you the embarkation process that we had to go with the Ruby Princess here in San Francisco and that's coming up right after this. Chatting with Justin. I am Justin, and today we are going to be talking about. It's editing Justin here. And so I had a whole entire video of me explaining the embarkation process on the Ruby Princess, but I couldn't use it because the music was so loud and I couldn't drown it out. So basically, let me just get to the point. Embarkation here um, at Pier 35 here in San Francisco for the Ruby Princess was really super easy. We walked in, we were green laned because we had our medallions with us. So we went up, we had our passports out. I could not find my medallion. Um, got put in the wrong spot at the airport. I finally found it, we were able to get on the ship. We were on the ship, yeah, like that. Uh, we didn't have to wait very long. See, here's a picture of the ship as we walked up into the boarding area. Here's a picture of us getting on the ship. So the boarding process, in San Francisco for the Ruby Princess was really super fast and easy if you're a green lane. And I do highly encourage you to get that medallion ahead of time. I know it's like 10 bucks shipping, but it's, it's worth it. To me, it's worth it. And instead of standing in a long line, so this picture right here. So right over here is what's called the blue lane. And that is if you don't have your medallion. Right, and so, I have more video coming up after this. If you want to stay and watch it, I highly encourage you. It's of me videoing it, the embarkation process. I actually went back off the ship to get all of the video for you, but I had to delete a lot of it because you're not supposed to film inside the terminal. It's the first time I've ever got in trouble, probably because I had my tripod out in my hand instead of my camera on my backpack. But that it is what it is. So. Here, let's go back to October 22nd and take a look at embarkation. Pier 35. We were supposed to go out of Pier 27 here in San Francisco, but we got moved here because the crown was going out of 27. So let's turn it around and let's take a look. All right, that's a pretty good view of the semi. Let's take a look at San Francisco. This right here is a park and ride. And we've parked here before. I would never recommend parking here because of thieves just breaking into your cars. They don't give a crap. All right, so let's turn around. So right over here, this is Pier 35. We enter in right over here, we'll walk over that way. So it is a pretty big cruise terminal. So right here, with the big opening right there, that's where, I, that's where we came out of when we were here in San Francisco back in April with the brilliance of the seas. We came out of that and we walked back in that way to get back to the cruise ship. But over here is the embarkation point of the cruise terminal. So let's go ahead and let's walk across and take a look at it. Right up there though, that is the Ruby Princess sticking above the building. Yeah, so the Ruby Princess, yeah, that's you know towering over the top of the building there, of the uh, cruise terminal. And right down there, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but that is where the Crown Princess is at. But it is a busy day here at the cruise terminal because there's two princesses ships going out of San Francisco, so it's kind of like a madhouse. We got the crown down there we got the ruby right here so yeah it's a very very busy busy place let's let's come over here for a sec what the heck is that All right, so let's go ahead 
and let's head on into the cruise terminal to see what it's all about. is right up here. So, they're very, very good at uh, what they're doing. So right over here is what's called the blue lane. And that is if you don't have your medallion. We were green lane, so we were able to go all the way through. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I've already been through the process. It was so quick that I had to come back out and film it because I didn't have time to film it because my wife was in a hurry. But I'm filming it now. So I'm gonna turn it off for a minute while I go through this process. All right, so yeah, I had to cut off the ending of it because there was too much music. So yeah, first time I've ever had to delete any footage at all. So now I know not to take anything like this and hold it out in front of you like this. Okay, yeah, so I always just put on my backpack. But yeah, I had to cut it off right there because I was going through the security, I was going through the medallion setup and everything like that, and I didn't want to film that, but then I turned it back on as soon as I got past that, and I did get some good pictures though. So here's the picture of the ruby I took with my camera. I just snuck that one. And then here, here's another picture that I snuck um, of all the luggage. And then there is some of the terminal right there where they can come and go with the semis and things like that. And so, yeah, those are, yeah, I had to see those with my phone. I'd probably get in trouble forbidden to ever cruise out of San Francisco again. But yeah, that is the embarkation process for the Ruby Princess there in San Francisco on October the 22nd. So if you found this video good and useful, give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you want to, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, because I've got a lot more videos coming out about San Francisco. I'm not necessarily about San Francisco, but about the Panama cruise that I went on from October 22nd to November 6th. So that's coming up here in the next couple months. And so, yeah, I would hit that bell notification and subscribe button to find out more. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming, thanks for watching. And until the next video, guys, I will see you later. Bye.